Happy Labor Day, everybody. Just came back from grocery shopping, and I'm just going to show you a couple things that I got. Boom. First thing, um, you guys know I'm trying to stay away from processed foods, but every now and then I get a craving for something. So I picked up these Smart Ones chocolate chip cookie dough sundaes. Uh, they have four points each, and there's four of them in a pack. This is predominantly for my family here, the peach uh, orchard punch. Everybody loves it. it. It actually is really good. If you can take a splash of it um, in some seltzer, that's a good little way to sweeten up your drinks if you're not getting in your water. This is another thing that my family likes, the iced coffee. Um, I make my own. <laughs> uh, turkey sausage, always good for breakfast with some eggs. Bag of chopped onions. Bag of winter blend. It's cauliflower, uh, cauliflower and broccoli mixed. And a bag of cauliflower. Here's my famous almond breeze, unsweetened, 45 calories. I use this for when I make my protein shakes. A little thing of hummus here. Uh, always a good snack. You can have it with some vegetables. That's what I like to do. Gourmet lobster ravioli. Again, another food for the family, but I don't know. Maybe I'll indulge. I found this. I've never tried it before. This is the Sobe Life Water. Uh, they're Pops. Pacific Coconut. They have 40 calories per bar. There's eight in a box. Let's see what the cal calorie content is. Can I focus? Not really. Well, it's saying one bar has 40 calories, there's nine carbs and nine sugars, but according to the label, the only thing in it is filtered water, natural sugar, and coconut water. So, I don't know, I'm going to try it. Healthy ones. These are some cold cuts, honey ham, and turkey breast. I like this. It's a little bit of a quick, quick snack. Roll it up with a pickle or something like that. It's very good. My giant thing of eggs, which cannot live without. Some organic green grapes, some red seedless, a couple cucumbers. Got some cold cuts because um, when you're trying to stay away from a lot of sugars and stuff like that, cold cuts sometimes, even though that some of them are processed, like this one, <laughs> bologna, um, it's still a good little snack. What's in here? This is the Resser Light Ham, 98% fat free. Um... This is always good. The Black Bear Peppered Eye Round. I love this stuff. Believe it or not, if you take one of these slices, some light cream cheese, and a pickle, and roll it up, delish. Slice of cheese for some eggs or on a piece of uh, ham or something. This is the cheddar cheese that we love. What family could do without provolone? Not mine. And another bit of the roast beef. Um... Two bags of cheese. I like to put this in my omelets. I like to sprinkle it on a salad, sometimes on a little bit of a cold cut mix. I don't know. Just was feeling it today. Two cans of ripe olives. See these cans of potatoes? These are actually really good. If you take these, rinse them off with water, throw them on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and just roast them. You can even throw some rosemary sprigs on them. So good. So good. I actually bought a couple cans more than I'm showing you, but I've already put them away in my cupboard. Whoa. More family stuff. Uh, the Bagel Crisp Sea Salt and the Everything. They like to dip that in their hummus. I like the vegetables. Two new things. I don't know. I've never tried these. Bigelow Autumn Spiced Tea and Apple Cider Spiced Herbal Tea. No caffeine. Obviously no calories. Check it out. Let me see. I don't know why, why is this thing not focusing good? I don't know. But anyway, I'm not a really big tea drinker. I'm a more of a coffee girl. But I figured sometimes at night, you know, after you have dinner and a couple hours go by and you're hanging out watching TV and you're craving something sweet, I'm going to just try a cup of tea and see if it works. My one processed guilt snack would have to be these Fiber One Protein Bars, the Caramel Nut. They're so good. Kind of tastes like a Snickers bar. I love them. Um, here it is again. Always have to go to a shop right trip buying the Mally's mustard. Love it. Behind my sink is a fruit bowl. And in it, I got three bunches of giant bananas because I like them in my protein shakes. I like them raw. I like them with peanut butter. You see. And they had some... Um, Shell steaks on sale today, $9.99 a pound, so I got two packs of those. We are each going to have one tonight for dinner. 
and I love this stuff. I mean, I don't know if any of, if any of you guys are Italian. Your grandmother probably used this when she made meatballs. It's a combination of um, pork, veal, and just regular ground beef. I love it. I use it to make either meatballs or a meatloaf. And I will be making this into a meatloaf this week. So, let's see. There's some other stuff we got. Let's open up this junk cabinet. This is just for the family. Again, I really try not to eat this stuff. It's kind of difficult when, you know, <laughs> you get cravings and the stuff is in the house, but I really try not to. So here it is. Wheat thins. What else did we get? Little blueberry muffins. The tomato basil. No, I'm sorry. What kind of triscuits did we get? Rosemary and olive oil triscuits. More Little Bites banana muffins. Um, some cookies and stuff. These crystal light things are great. I, this was my replacement for the apple teeny, which I still cannot find anywhere, and I'm really pissed about it. I don't know. Damn Jersey. Two Mio's. One, some new flavor called cherry blackberry. That one sounds pretty good. And strawberry watermelon. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm sucking on one of these. This is another trick I use to get me through those times when I want sugar. It's just a starlight mint. You guys probably know these from like diners and stuff. This is what they look like. They're so awesome. If you're craving a little bit of sweetness, just throw one in your mouth. They have, uh, let's see, 60 calories for three. So 20 calories per piece. That's better than eating a 100 calorie cookie in my opinion. So anyway, that's the scoop. Oh, one more thing. Check this out. This is a really good find. Pepperidge Farm makes this light style bread. Each slice has 45 calories. Um, there's zero saturated fat. It's low in sugar and carbs. There's like one gram of fat, zero grams of fat, which kind of doesn't make sense, but nine grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, and one gram of sugar. There's actually protein in it, seven. So can't beat that. Um, having one slice of that, maybe with some eggs or some cold cuts, but... Anyway, guys, that is the grocery haul for this Labor Day. Oh, you know what? Let me show you what's in here. I got a few things, too. This is what they've been wanting to try. I'm not big on boxed potatoes, but I did try it, and we were going we're gonna to probably make these with the meatloaf. Three cheese. What else have we got? Um, here's my cornflake crumbs that I use on top of the tilapia and my chicken. ShopRite mac and cheese, they were on sale, so hence I got so many of them. <laughs> More potatoes, some tuna fish, um, oh, this stuff. Ah, I can't reach, I'm only 5'4". Saucy Susan peach apricot. This stuff is so good on chicken. If you buy like a chicken cut up or you have wings or legs, if you put this on top of chicken and just put some... Seasoning like garlic powder and some salt and pepper into an oven. This stuff makes the most sweet, gooey, yummy crust you've ever tried. So try this stuff, guys. It's really good. Um, I think that's about it. That's about it, guys. So hope you enjoyed the grocery haul. I hope you're all having a wonderful Labor Day. It's raining here, so there's no picnics or barbecues. So we went food shopping. So anyway... Hope you like my goodies and um, stay tuned for my fishing extravaganza video, which I will be editing sometime later today. Most likely be up either late tonight or tomorrow. So hope you all have a great day, guys. Bye.